just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have Next up, please join me in welcoming makeup artist extraordinaire Lo Yiso and content creator Zizi Po from Clicks Beauty Squad. Please, it's snacks. Lo Yiso is a true beauty man and is here to share his secrets and tips in keeping you up to date with all the latest looks. Zizi Po is a digital entrepreneur, a content creator, and will be our model for today. Lo Yiso will be showing us how to create, oh, wait for it. How to create Bobby <laughs> Clam, yes! Hello, my loves. Um, my name is Lois Omange. Um, I'm one of the Click Beauty Squads, and today I'm going to be creating a Barbie-inspired makeup look um, using Smudge Cosmetics. So we're going to create um, something that you can wear to her Barbie movie experience, yeah. So I am going to be using this eyeshadow over here and I'm going to be focusing mainly on my pink and bright colors because with a Barbie look you always want like a lot of, lot of glam, a lot of drama and a lot of pink. <laughs> we want all the drama. All the drama, my love. So I've already done my model's um, foundation powder so we're just going to be focusing mainly on the, on the eye area. And I'm going to be focusing mainly on the area, the lips, and a lot of blush. A lot of blush. We're going to be pink today. <laughs> like a real-life Barbie. Honey, honey. So what I want to do with her eye makeup, I want to create like a smoky, smoky pink eye eyeshadow, especially inspired by more the 80s, but we're going to make it Barbie as well. So I'm going to just start off with outlining because I want like a sort of wing shape eyeshadow. So I'm just going to outline where I want my wing to be. So I'm using this color over here. So it's like a mauvey color, which is, which is going to look very good on her skin tone. So what have you been enjoying with the Barbie train at the moment, Zizi Po? I'm loving the Barbie train, the bright colors, the pinks, the hot pinks. Everyone is daring to yes. be a Barbie doll. And it is so nice. So I'm quite excited for today's look because I get to join in on the trend too. Honey, and are you enjoying the music? <laughs> Have you, music, have you been doing the TikToks? Uh, no. <laughs> I cannot dance to save my life, so no. <laughs> but um, the, the transitions and the um, makeup and... Um, Fashion looks are it, so yeah, I have been enjoying watching those. I also love the uh -huh. smudge makeup because the pigment is so nice. So amazing. So for that pop of color, you've got it right. Yeah, yeah. And the thing that I love about smudge is the products are amazing. The quality is good at a very affordable price. Like you get their products from like $29.99. Um, and it's, it's really nice, especially when you, want to, you still want to explore when it comes to makeup. You can always start with a good, good affordable brand like Smudge Cosmetics. Wow. I think one of my first makeup products was from Smudge. Yes, definitely. Smudge is definitely affordable quality makeup. And what, what is your favorite Smudge product? I love the shadow, the um, eye palettes. They are so nice. I also love the matte foundation that also just gives a nice beautiful so beautiful so i've just outlined my model's eye just open for me and one thing when you're doing your eye makeup you always want to be looking straight at the mirror like this and make sure that your wing is showing and when you when you do open your eyes you still want to see the shape of the shadow and this is very good if you have like hooded eyes <laughs> so hooded eyes, you don't have a lot of space when it comes to shadow, so you always want to work above your crease. Oh, nice. Yes. So do I have those? Yes, you okay. have hooded <laughs> eyes. <laughs> I'm still learning to get so, my makeup game up, so <laughs> it's good to know. So up next, I'm going to be layering the shadow with the pink color over here to get that pop, that bobby pop. 
I'm just going to dab this on. I'm just going to pack it on the eye so we can get it nice and bright. Looking so beautiful already. I hope you're going somewhere after this. Well, I think we should. <laughs> we definitely, this we definitely deserves, should. Yeah, this makeup definitely deserves it. And this is basically a very nice and simple eye makeup. I'm literally using two, two products that I'm also going to be using on the cheeks as well. Um, so on the cheeks, I'm going to be using back to the, the, the red mauve sort of color. I'm going to be using that as a blush. So I the love that you can use it for both your eyes. Yes, and yes, your yes. Cheeks. So one thing I love about Smudge, their products are also like very multifunctional. So you can use your eyeshadow on the eyes. You can use it on the lips as well, and then apply your a little bit of lip gloss to get a bit of tint of color. Super stunning. Pink looks so good on you, babes. Oh, <laughs> stunning. <laughs> like it's getting there it's getting there okay i think i'm applying too much here yeah? i don't want you to look crazy <laughs> we want the drama but not too drama, much drama drama <laughs> so i'm gonna apply a little bit more on the cheek going up not too much guys you don't want to look too crazy and then I'm gonna go on to um, lip gloss. So another trick with lip gloss, I like to use it on the cheeks as well to get a bit of a highlight on, on her face, just to give the face a bit of dimension. So I'm gonna use this hot pink one over here just to highlight the cheeks. I'm gonna use the same brush that I used to apply the, the blush with. You are going to love this look. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. It's stunning. So do you normally use the Smudge lip products? I do. I'm a big fan of Smudge. This girlie is the one. The quality yeah, and yeah, affordable yeah, price. Yeah. And all the three for two. For two. Three for two. Of course. We love that those. Is that, I love those. <laughs> and that is like the most perfect time. To be doing your shopping That's at Clicks. That's when I stuck up on my product. <laughs> so beautiful. As you can see, it gives like a very nice glow without having that chalky finish um, that sometimes a highlighter may give. So if you want like a very hydrated, very glowy look, this is what you'll use. Stunning. So I'm going to go on to the other eye. I'm gonna do the same in that eye as well. So I'm just gonna outline the shape again. So you're just gonna look straight. You're gonna open your eyes and look straight. So you just want to outline the, the shadow first before filling it in. I love these techniques. I'm yeah, learning something yeah, new. Yeah. And your skin is so beautiful, oh my gosh. You have such beautiful skin. Stunning, oh my goodness. Have you tried the, the Smudge Cosmetics um, Makeup Remover? That is like one of my favorite products that I've been using a lot lately, especially this weekend with Beauty Playground. And yeah, I just want my makeup to melt off very quickly. Yes. And it does exactly yes. that. I find it so much better to use an oil-based um, makeup remover. Yeah, it, yeah. It just does the trick, especially for the makeup that's a little bit more stubborn. Yeah. It gets the job done. And you know, sometimes I even use it as like a face wash, as a face wash, really? because like I have very dehydrated dry skin. Oh, yes. Yes. And it puts in back the moisture. Yeah, yeah. I've never tried it as a face wash, but I should. No. Especially when you've had like a lot of makeup on during that mm -hmm. So it doesn't dry out the skin like a face wash would. Mm. Especially when you have like super, super dry in winter. Love this open for me. Glamorous. 
So now I'm going to go on to the lips. So I'm going to firstly outline her lip with this brown eyeshadow over here. Um, just to give the lip a bit of definition. Like I said, eyeshadow is very, mul very multifunctional. Use them on the eyes. Y even this, you can use as a brow powder as well. Yeah, which is so super even cool. even on your lips? Yes, even on your lips. Learning something new. <laughs> so I'm just going to outline the lips with this. Just to give the lips a bit of shape. Can you see? Already making a huge difference. Love it so much. Uh, the gloss is just going to blend so perfectly with this eyeshadow as a liner. Do you want your lips fuller? Eh? Fuller lips are always and juicy. Full and juicy. So stunning. Okay, one thing I forgot, a bit of shadow onto your lower lash line. Let's look up for me. Okay, I'm just gonna pat this on as well, just for a bit of more drama. So what's your favorite smudge my favorite smudge product at the moment would be the oil, um, oil-based makeup remover. That's one of them. And the lip, the lip gloss, the clear one, the clear lip gloss, that has been voted one of the best lip glosses. So you definitely need to have it in your handbag? No, definitely. You need to have it in your handbag at all times. We all need a good gloss. So I'm going to do the same on this side as well. Apply a bit of pink and just pat it on. Okay, now I'm going to go on to lip gloss. So I'm going to go back to my lip gloss that I used on the, on the cheeks. And Smudge has all the body colors, hey? Honey. The range that you can choose from is, is, is amazing, is amazing. And I just love the fact that they are very inclusive brands when it comes to skin color and, and skin products. So you're going to get a color for everyone at Smudge. Especially for my melanin queens. Yes. You are starting to look like a black Barbie. Yes. <laughs> Can you see how beautiful this gloss is looking on her lips? And yeah, the, the, the brown eyeshadow really helped to define the cheek, the, the lip. So I'm just gonna pat this on as well. So for a bit of pink, more pink, because I love pink, I'm gonna add <laughs> back to my shadow, back to my shadow. So I'm gonna add a bit of shadow again onto the lips just for more pop of color. So you always want to play around with your makeup. With makeup, there's literally no rules. Just play around. If you don't like something, you can always remove it. And I love that the palette has so many colors. Yeah, so many colors, super pigmented, and there's a variety to choose from when it comes to the shadows. Stunning. So this is basically lifting the color up just to make it pop and then i'm gonna finish off my makeup look with a bit of gloss another pink one we love pink here yeah? <laughs> bit of gloss on top but just not not too much a little bit more Just match them together for me. Can you see it's giving like an ombre sort of finish to the look, to the lips, which I really, really love. Um, okay, I'm just gonna mattify my model's face because she is a little bit oily here in the forehead. So I'm just gonna use a bit of the shadow again, just a little bit. 
just to mattify her face. Because the shadows, I feel like eyeshadows can literally use everywhere. Multifunctional Yeah, eyeshadows. yeah. And it's literally melting on your skin. We are careful. <laughs> And also, you can also set your under eye with eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take my brown color again, just to contour the face. Yeah, no, I just love how lightweight it also feels. Yeah, it yeah. It doesn't feel like I've got makeup on. And the nice thing about using one product um, is that you don't have to be purchasing every single price especially when you're traveling you don't want to be carrying a big makeup bag so that's what i've been doing this weekend just to take products that i can use for multiple multiple things that's a nice trick yeah yeah bit of contouring and then we're going to define the shape of the nose bit of contouring right along the nose there we go and then for a little bit of a pop, I'm just going to add a bit of, of a highlighter in the inner corners of her eye over here. Just to make her look nice and glamorous and glittery. Nice glitz and glam. Look at you, girl. <laughs> oh, the color that I'm using is right over here. Stunning, love, love this. So now you need to do your body work. So yeah, we can go, we can go out together way. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really enjoyed creating this look on Zizi Paul. I hope you're gonna love it. You haven't seen yourself as yet. Okay, guys, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Looks super guys. good. Thank and, you so much, Lisa. And remember to shop. Smudge Cosmetics that clicks exclusively available at Clicks, so you're not gonna get it anywhere else. Clicks has the best brands, and this is one of them. And don't forget the three for two special. That is the most perfect time to be grabbing all of your products, so you can get a whole lot of bunch of products at an affordable price. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. I will see you next time. Hello! How was that? <laughs> any questions? Um, oh, yeah. Any questions? Do you have any questions? Any questions? No questions? Hi. Hello, my um, love. Do you guys have any, like, a really good brow liner or brow gel that you know of, like, for, yeah, obviously, for the brow type of jewelry from Sancho? Yeah, honestly, I prefer the brow, the, the eyeshadow as a brow powder, especially when you're starting, um, if you're not very confident in creating, in, in create, outlining your brows, then this product works perfectly because it doesn't pick up as much product like a pencil would. A pencil, it's going to take a lot of blending, and with this, it glides smoothly. And then what brush would you I would use like a very flat brush for, well, I don't have one here. Flat angled one. Yes, a flat angled one. And then for your concealer, if you want to define your brows a little bit, then you can use like a flat brush, which is going to give you a nice precision. Thank you. Any more questions? All good. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. Have a lovely day. I just want to have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance.